Hello, people. I just saw a great move that used stop motion. Stop motion? What is that? A person that was trying to be like a statue? Yeah, stop motion. Has nothing to do with a statue. Here, I'll show you. Wait, there's people watching this? First, you'll need a camera to do stop motion. A phone will work, but you can also use a handheld camera. And don't forget an SD card if you're using a camera. Oh, that makes sense. Then you'll need space to film. A table can be used, or you can use the ground. However, for professional films that use stop motion, they're big set pieces, and they are never put on the ground. They're always situated on a table. Lighting will help the film so it can look good, and to make it feel like it was happening. But if you don't have lighting, you can make do with what you have, but may result in not looking that good. Then, you'll need objects to move in the film. It'll depend on what the story is for the film. For example, maybe your story includes a person accidentally wrecking their car, and since that's in the story, you could get a die-cast car for the film. Now, I could place a die-cast car in front of my camera, and then take a photo, then slightly move it, then repeat it until it goes along with the story. Here in this film, die-cast cars seem like they are moving, but it's just a photo after photo to make it seem like the die-cast cars are moving. Oh, okay. After the process of making the film is done, you need to go and edit the film. I would recommend you getting an editing software if you don't have one, but if you do have one, just make sure you know what you're doing with the editing program. Well, I could just use a movie editor that's already on my PC. Make sure the photos are put in order in the program. In the end, it should look like it's moving. Also, you can make the photos appear shorter in the program so the film can be faster or slower. You also need a certain amount of frames per second to make the stop motion film look smooth. 15 frames per second makes the stop motion film look smooth but the frames per second can be changed. And that is it for making a stop motion film. Hopefully that made sense. I know it sounds complicated, but if you keep trying to understand it more, it will make sense.